Hi everyone. I'm thrilled to welcome you back to our YouTube channel. Now grab a cup of coffee and find a cozy spot and let's embark on a learning journey together. Now, before we get started, let's chat about why everyday skills that is so popular in practical life in Montessori. And we're going to talk a little bit about why these things are important. Things like cooking, cleaning, gardening, and even budgeting. They're very important for children. They aren't just chores. They're not just simple work. They are life skills and they're the magic keys that unlock a child's independence and responsibility. They will help our little ones to feel confident in their own abilities and solve problems of their own. Now, essentially, these skills are the foundational bricks that help children navigate this big uh, wide world that we live in. And they will be successful when they have mastered these skills. And isn't that what we want for our children? Now the Montessori method really shines when it comes to teaching these life skills. With a very hands-on, child-centric approach, these skills just happen seamlessly. Cooking is a great place to start to understand this. You see, unlike traditional teaching methods, the Montessori approach invites children to step into the kitchen from a very young age, and it turns it into a fun learning space rather than a place where children are not allowed to be. The journey begins with very simple tasks, just starting by washing fruits and vegetables. Now, I know this sounds very trivial to us as a grown up, but for a child, this is a world of discovery. They're feeling textures, they're looking at colors, and even that cool water running through their fingers, it's sensory for them. This is also an ideal opportunity for us to start conversations about the importance of cleanliness and hygiene. Now, gradually, as they start to grow, they can start exploring more, peeling a banana, cutting fruits, soft fruits with a child safe knife, knife, or even spreading jam on a cracker or a piece of bread. Each of these activities is actually an intricate dance of the fine motor skills, concentration, and patience. They're learning about sequencing what comes first, what comes next and last, and they're gaining a sense of accomplishment. Now, it doesn't just stop there. Once they've mastered these, they can move on to mixing ingredients, understanding ratios, measuring quantities, even baking and cooking simple recipes with your supervision. These aren't just cooking tasks. Each one is a fun, hands-on math, science, or language lesson. What's more, they learn about the transformation from raw materials into seeing how bread rises when it's baked or how vegetables will change color when we cook them. And this is very, very interesting because it's experiential learning at its best. Now let's not forget the less tangible but equally important lessons, learning to wait, patience, patience while those muffin bakes it teaches them self-control, and then they can share those muffins when they're cooked, teaching them generosity, and of course, cleaning them, cleaning up afterwards teaches responsibility and respect for the environment. So you see, this simple act of cooking in the Montessori method is packed with a multitude of learning opportunities. Now let's talk about another amazing skill, gardening. In the Montessori world, gardening is like a fun outdoor classroom. Just imagine the look of surprise and joy on a child's face when this tiny seed that they've planted, planted sprouts into a green leaf. It's like their own little magic trick happening in front of their eyes. When children garden, they learn lots of new things. They get to know about different plants, how they grow. They see how a seed turns into a plant or maybe even a flower or could be a vegetable. They get to see bugs and butterflies and they learn how everyone and everything has a very special part to play. Gardening is not just about growing things, even small jobs like filling a pot with soil, watering plants or picking up the leaves that have fallen, it can be fun and exciting for children. Each of these jobs is a chance for children to see, to touch and to learn about the world around them. One of the best things about gardening is that it teaches children how to take care of something, nurturing. 
when they water that plant and they make sure that it gets enough sunlight, they're learning that taking care of things is important. They also learn how to wait and to watch things grow, which is a great way to learn patience. So when we do gardening in a Montessori way, it teaches children about the world around them and how to be patient and how to take care of things. Plus, it's a great way for children to get outside, get their hands dirty in a fun and meaningful way, and you get to bond with your child at the same time. Gardening is a perfect extension of the Montessori botany materials. Children who have worked with any of the botany puzzles, they will get a deeper understanding when they actually see the parts of the plant in the real con context. The root, the stem, the leaves, the petals, the flowers, the fruits. It's like bringing the classroom materials to life for the children. Now I know this next part might surprise you. Did you know that even something as grown up as budgeting can be part of the Montessori learning experience? Yes. In a Montessori environment, we don't shy away from introducing real world concepts early on, even when it comes to money. So how do we teach our children about budgeting? Well, we make it a game. One of the best ways to learn is to, to learn how to do this is by setting up a play shop. The children can uh, pretend to be the customer or the shopkeeper and you can have pretend money to buy or sell items. Now through this simple play, children start to understand about money. They see that different items have different costs and they begin to learn about making choices. They learn how to give change, how to save up for something that they really want and how important it is to manage their money. Doesn't this sound fun? Instead of just seeing budgeting as a difficult task, children start from a young age to see it as an engaging and exciting game. They begin to understand the value of goods and the concept of managing resources, all while having a ton of fun. In the Montessori way, we believe it's never too early to learn about money. By making it fun and practical, we're setting our children up for a future where they feel confident and informed about their finances. When it comes to budgeting, it beautifully aligns with the Montessori math curriculum. Children who've worked with the golden beads and the bank game, they have a tactile sense of units, tens, hundreds and thousands. They can apply this to their understanding when they're playing pretend with their shop game. And this enhances their grasp of value and exchange of money. You can even try and use real money, notes and coins. Now here's the real magic of the Montessori method. It turns learning these life skills into an adventure. Instead of chores, they become exciting activities. Instead of burdens, they're puzzles to solve, treasures to discover. Children learn by exploring, by getting curious, and most of all, they have a lot of fun. Picture your little one trying to cook. They aren't just peeling potatoes or stirring a soup. They are on a mission. They're curious, they're excited, and they're having the time of their lives. And the best part, they're learning so much and they don't even realize it. It's happening organically. The same goes for gardening or budgeting. A little dirt under their nails, a few play coins in their pockets. These become moments of discovery filled with excitement and joy. Each task they complete is an accomplishment, a mountain climbed. And with each success, their confidence grows, their resilience strengthens. And the benefits of this fun-filled learning adventure, they're just amazing. Children learn how to solve problems, how to take care of themselves and their environment, and they become confident. They get a sense of achievement. They learn how to be patient, and they understand the importance of respect and responsibility. All of this while having a blast. So the Montessori way of teaching life skills isn't about the skills themselves. It's about creating a love of learning fostering curiosity and helping children become confident, caring individuals. And all of this happens in an environment filled with joy, respect, and of course, tons of fun. So we've talked a lot about the Montessori method and how it helps children to learn these important life skills. But there's another key player in this journey. Can you guess who it is? 
Yes, it's you, my parents. You see, the home isn't just where the heart is. It's also the very first school for our children. It's where children learn first their words, they take their first steps, and they understand their first lessons about the world. The things they learn at home and habits they pick up, the values they understand, these are lessons that they will carry on through life. Now just picture this, your little one is there helping you make breakfast. They aren't just learning how to spread butter on toast. They're learning about helping out, about teamwork, about the joy of making something with their own two hands. These lessons are something no school can teach, quite like you, the parent, can do it. When you as the parent get involved in your child's learning, it makes a world of difference. It's like having their favorite superhero team up with them on their quest for knowledge. Learning becomes more meaningful because they're sharing it with you. It reinforces what they've learned at school and makes those lessons stick. And there's another beautiful benefit. As you learn and grow together, the bond between you and your child strengthens. You're not just their parent, but also their guide, their partner in this exciting journey of discovery. It's a shared adventure filled with countless moments of joy, surprise, and love. So wonderful parents, by fostering these life skills at home, you're giving your child a gift, a gift of knowledge, of shared experiences, and of unforgettable moments and trust me it's a gift they will cherish for their lifetime now i know you're wondering all of this sounds great but is it really easy to do at home and my answer is a big resounding yes you see the secret ingredient here is a dash of patience a sprinkle of creativity and a whole lot of love just think about it your daily activities are already filled with these lessons waiting to be discovered. You're not adding anything new to your day. You're just looking at your routines in a fresh, fun way. Cooking dinner? Well, that's not just cooking anymore. It's a math class waiting to happen. It's a chance for your little one to learn about measurements, quantities, and even fractions. Plus, imagine the look of pride on their face when they get to say, I helped to make this. Cleaning up, it's not just a chore, it's a lesson in responsibility and organization. It's a chance to teach your children that every little thing has its place and that it's important to take care of our things and our space. What about gardening? It's a live science class. It's a hands-on way to understand about plants, insects, the life cycles of nature. Each time they water a plant or see a new bud, they're learning about caring and patience. So parents, it's all about turning the ordinary in into extraordinary learning opportunities. It's about sharing these moments with your child and making learning a fun, shared journey. So are you ready to embark on this wonderful adventure? I promise it's a journey filled with fun, laughter and some amazing learning moments for you and your child. I've done it with mine. It's your turn now. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, this sounds amazing, but I could use some more guidance, then I've got some really exciting news for you. We've created something special just to help you on this journey. At Sunshine Teachers Training, we offer comprehensive online diplomas in Montessori education. And the best part, they're available in both English and Bahasa Indonesia. These courses are designed to give you a deeper understanding of the Montessori approach, the principles behind it, and how to apply them in your daily life. Just imagine being able to navigate this journey with knowledge and confidence, knowing that you're providing the best for your little one. I can hear some people saying, but I'm so busy. Don't worry, we've got you covered. We've designed short courses that can easily fit into your busy schedules. These courses pack a punch, giving you key insights and practical tips without demanding too much of your time. It's like having a Montessori expert in your pocket. So whether you're a parent wanting to enrich your child's learning experience, an educator looking to expand your teaching methods, 
or just someone who's passionate about child development, we have something for everyone. Our aim is to make Montessori learning accessible and enjoyable and practical for all. Come join us, become part of our community, and let's make learning an adventure one day at a time. Check out the links above and in the description box below. Come join us on this wonderful journey to make learning a joyful, meaningful experience for our children. So now we've come to the end of our little chat. I really hope you're leaving with a spark of excitement about the Montessori approach to practical life skills. If you've enjoyed our time together and you found it helpful, I have a small request. Can I ask you to give that like button a little click? It's like a high five to me, letting me know that you enjoyed this video. And if you think that this video might help others too, please share it with your friends and family. And oh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's like joining our family here, where we explore exciting new ways to make learning a joyous journey. We've got a lot more insights and fun ideas coming up and I don't want you to miss any of it. A huge big thank you for spending your time with me today. I want to leave you with a little thought. Every small step we take in nurturing our children's skills is like planting a seed of growth. With time and care, these seeds will grow into strong, beautiful trees. So keep sowing these seeds of knowledge and love. Keep shining, keep growing, and until we meet again, have a beautiful day.